Well, the 4th of July is nearly here and Central Indiana is set to celebrate independence in a big way with celebrations throughout the area. Justin Kolar is here with what's new and what's tried and true in this week's Red, White and Blue Weekend Outlook. Well, you know, a lot of folks have their own tradition when it comes to celebrations this holiday weekend, fishing, boating, cooking out, playing ball, any number of summer activities. But if you're looking for some extra fireworks displays to add to your list, we've got several options leading up to the 4th next week that you might enjoy. Starting to our south in Bloomington, get your weekend started with the Monroe County Fair kickoff with fireworks and cruising at the fairgrounds. It all starts at 6 o'clock. There will be live music, food, classic cars, and a whole lot more. Then Saturday, head to Cambridge City for their fireworks show. It starts at 9 and lasts until 1030 at Crete's Park. Maybe a little bit closer to your neck of the woods, Saturday will also be Night at the Park in Avon with activities galore. From 6 to 10, you'll enjoy food trucks, live music, face painting, pony rides, a petting zoo, and more, believe it or not. Wrap it all up with a great fireworks display. Hey, just make sure you don't forget your blanket and lawn chairs. Now on Sunday, fireworks will be launched from Anderson, and this year it's going to look a little bit different. The Anderson Independence Day Parade and Celebration will have both a new route and celebration location. The parade will now start at 8th and Main Streets at 7 p.m. and will end on North Central back to 8th Street, while the celebration itself will now pop off from the former Work One parking lot. City of Anderson's Public Information Officer Jill McMillan says this year's celebration has something for everyone like is to incorporate a lot of our traditional elements and then bring in a few new surprises for our um, residents and visitors. There obviously will be food trucks, so you can plan on just spending the whole evening um, with snacks or meals. Then there's going to be areas for the kids. There's going to be a, uh, a carnival tent with games and prizes for the kids. There'll be a petting zoo. There'll be a rock wall, inflatables, just a bunch of things for families and kids and all free for the for the community. Sounds like a whole lot of fun. And as always, if you miss something or have any questions regarding all those events we've just covered, we've got any information, including times and locations over on our website, CBS4Indy.com. I'm Justin Kolar. Have a happy, safe and fun holiday weekend. We'll see you out there.